What is up, my butter biscuits? So I finally got another color of beanie. It's about time, I know. How do you guys like this color? Cause I kind of like it. Normally I don't like light colors on myself. I don't know why, but you know, I just like dark colors. Um, but I thought I would switch it up. Loki, I kind of feel like it looks good, but y'all let me know. Anyways, y'all, we are gonna be talking about Jaclyn Hill today, which I feel like it's been kind of a while, maybe like a month, right? Since we talked about her. But before that, it's been months since we talked about her. Um, and I do feel like this is for a reason because it just seems like she's just popping up with drama like out of nowhere. like. I'm going to tell you guys, of course, the details within this video, but it's really just out of nowhere for no reason, kind of. So I have my little conspiracy theory over here that I think that she's going to be releasing a new product soon or doing a new collaboration soon or trying to sell something soon, because um, I think people are starting to learn from Jeffree Star that this drama generates buzz and people talk about them. And then in return, they end up getting sales, which is so crazy. The society that we live in is like when somebody's wrapped up in drama, their products sell, which is kind of crazy but you know what though i feel like it has been that way for a long time i always use the kardashians as an example to this if y'all do not know every single time they're coming out with a new season they have some type of like scandal or some type of you know drama going on right before and um new season is about to air and their ratings are just high 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 i feel like they do it really really good but i guess that's just how the entertainment industry is um which is kind of a trip to me you know because i think problematic people should not be getting praised but that's just the way the world works, I guess. But um, at the end of the day, it's up to the consumer to purchase the product or not, right? So this is literally me just assuming things. I have no actual physical proof of her coming out with a new product soon or doing a new collaboration or anything like that. But this is just totally random that... She's just, you know, over here stirring the pot for no reason. But anyways, we're going to be talking about that in today's video. If y'all are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Turn on your post notifications so that way you get notified when I upload a new video. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up because I would really appreciate that. Y'all, we are getting closer and closer to 100K. So make sure you hit the subscribe button so I can do my 100K giveaway because I'm so excited to do that. So hit the subscribe button and I can do my giveaway. I'm just really excited for the giveaway, y'all. Like, okay, honestly, though, let me be straight up. I am really excited to hit 100K because ever since I got on YouTube, YouTube, it was literally my goal to get a YouTube plaque and I know that probably sounds like a little bit dumb to some people but I'm just like I don't know I'm really excited to get that plaque and I've been on YouTube for like it's like been over five years now I have to look at the exact date from when I started but it's been a long time so um, about time that I reached this milestone so anyways y'all let me not ramble on like I normally do and let's go ahead and get into the video all right y'all so I'm gonna go ahead and start off by reading the tweets first that she had put out and her responses to people as well before I go into my thoughts and opinions because I do have some thoughts and opinions like usual y'all know what's up so anyways this is the tweet that she had posted out last night she said damn people really dragged me to filth when i had a scandal with my lipsticks but are nowhere to be found when i'm unproblematic and doing well i hope they enjoyed that paycheck they got from the views though so see here's the thing that's kind of like a trip is that she's coming out with this and it's like girl you haven't really come out with anything it's literally been like what seven months she hasn't came out with anything since february it's been quite a while so why are you coming out with this now? So anyways, somebody responds to her. You're asking for them. <clears throat> sorry. You're asking them for that negative energy, girl, dot, dot, dot. You're big on the don't give attention to these haters, but that's all you respond to. And now this question mark, literally asking where they at, dot, dot, dot. It's a no, no. Please don't feed into that kind of thing. And she quote tweets it. And she says, I'm not talking about the haters or the gossip channels. I know what to expect from them. And I am truly fine with it. I'm referring to my peers. And she's. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. Look, I always, I'm no like grammar police, but I just think it's funny sometimes because peers, she put peers in like a peer in the ocean. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, my fellow influencers, those whom I support and ride for, I'm referring to this industry and I'm reflecting on my ups and downs. Okay, so here's my little, my little two cents on this. Look, I honestly don't really follow every single video of Jacqueline. I don't follow her on Instagram or anything like that. I do follow her on Twitter, obviously. So that way I have my talking points for my cheese May videos. Um, however... Please correct me if I'm wrong, because I can 100% be wrong with this. I don't ever really see her helping out her fellow peers at all. Like, for example, I don't know if y'all know this, but she's actually cool with Raw Beauty Christie, and she did send her the highlighter um, collection when she came out with the highlighter collection. And y'all was tripped out about that because I had thought that she wouldn't send it to Raw Beauty Christie because Raw Beauty Christie's video for her lipstick scandal had like over 4 million views. And that really put it on the map that there was a massive problem with her lipstick collection. But I thought it was really cool of Jacqueline to actually send that um, highlighter collection to Raw Beauty Christie because I felt like she's like, you know what? 
I worked on this product. I made sure the manufacturing was good with it. So I'm going to put it out there to the person who obviously put a, a whole lot of light on my uh, lipstick gate situation, you know? And then Raw Beauty Christie actually gave a positive review on the highlights. There was no type of problem with the highlight collection at all. Everyone loved it. It looked like a really good formula and people really liked it. Um, so this is what I'm saying. Robbie DeCrissy had supported her, obviously, and that video, because everyone was just waiting for her to, like, roast the highlighters, and it turned out, no, it was a positive review. That had millions of views, too, or if not, you know, a million views. For sure, I know for sure it was over a million, because I remember last time I checked it, I was like, oh, that's over a million views. That's helping her out big time. A lot of people purchased her product specifically because of Robbie DeCrissy's review. Now, when it comes back around to it, Robbie DeCrissy finally did her collaboration with Pierre that I actually have sitting right here, and y'all... Look, I went back on Twitter, I went on Instagram, and I don't see her posting anything about Rob Beauty Christie's collaboration with Peers. So for her to say that she supports her peers, I'm kind of like, what? To my understanding, I watched one video of hers in like December, I believe that it was, and she helped out Tati by getting uh, giving her a mention of her palette within her like December favorites or something like that. But other than that, she is really not helping out anybody else, y'all. And I'd be watching her stories and her Snapchats and her Instagram stories and all that, you know what I'm saying? So this is where I'm just kind of like... What are you talking about that you support your peers? Because I don't see it. But like I said, correct me if I'm wrong, because I 100% can be wrong because I don't follow her, you know, very thoroughly. So let me just be real. But anyways, um, this person has responds to her. You won tutorialist of the year and you barely uploaded. That is recognition from your peers. And y'all remember, this was a big old deal. Everyone was like, how does she win tutorialist of the year when she has not like she uploaded like two videos when she won that, you know, and I don't even think I think she only uploaded one tutorial, which was like, girl, what? Anyway, so she writes back to that. None of you are understanding what I'm saying. I obviously did not articulate myself properly and that's my fault. But judging by the responses, I didn't get my point across the way I intended. Um, so y'all, this is where Jackie Ina comes into the mix because I was sitting over here like, oh, like, who does she support? You know what I'm saying? Jackie Ina's come out with collaborations. She come out with her own collection. She don't support her. She don't support Raw Beauty Christie. She don't, like, come on, who is she supporting? Has she supported Manny MUA? Like, you know, so anyways, um, this is actually underneath here for the T's Instagram post that Jackie Ina posted on. And she said, I'm not sure which peer she's referring to here, but she sure as hell paid all my collaborations dust. I've supported every single thing that she's launched and yet crickets for years, dot, dot, dot. Very hurtful, not gonna lie. Either way, I still admire her worth ethic and her ability to continue doing what she does because it isn't easy. So this was kind of a trip for me. I was kind of like, ooh, good. This is where, like, y'all, honestly, this is where I like Jackie Anna because she will she will speak up. And I feel like a lot of times people just don't. And I feel like in this situation, I was reading this and I was like, is Jacqueline Hill serious right now? What is she talking about? She supports people because I really have never seen it. Like, honestly, straight up, I've never seen it. So I was just kind of like, okay. Anyway, she responded to that, um, Jackie Anna. She responded to her original comment. She said, and I wanted no smoke, just being honest, but I won't single her out. She isn't the only person who has done that to me. So when it when it's crickets from me on someone uh, on some people's launches, you will know why, LMAO. And here's the thing, y'all, and I've always said this, and this is why I've completely distanced myself from the beauty aspect or the beauty industry of social media, um, the beauty community, I should say, um, is I do feel like everyone wants something in return or they want some type of form of compensation which is kind of like it's low-key irritating a lot of people that i've dealt with they either like you know if you want a shout out or something you have to pay them um a lot of people don't even really like doing trades which is kind of dumb because think about it if jackie Ina comes out with a product and jacqueline hill supports that product in return jackie Ina is going to support jacqueline hill's product you know what i'm saying so i do think that this industry y'all is just oh y'all it, it, it's really something else to be honest with you and that's why i just kind of get like a little uh Anyways, the conclusion of this from Jacqueline Hill, she actually tweeted this out this morning. She said, last night I made a tweet that I shouldn't have. I was very emotional and should have put my phone down instead of reacting childish. I was not referring to fans. I was not referring to drama channels. And I was not referring referring to certain influencers that have now been brought into this. Now, because I was seeing on Twitter and Instagram as well, a lot of people were assuming that she meant Robbie D. Christie, which would have been a trip to me because I was like, y'all go back to Robbie D. Christie's um, review of her highlighter collection in December. And it was a positive review so 
That's why everyone was bringing Rob Beauty Christie into this. They were just automatically assuming that. And I was like, it cannot be Rob Beauty Christie because she still did support Jacqueline. So anyway, she responds to that tweet and she says, I was upset because of stuff going on behind the scenes and should have kept my mouth 100% shut because now it's turning into something that I didn't even see coming because I reacted so quickly without thinking. I'm sorry for jumping on Twitter instead of dealing with it privately. So this is what I'm saying. I feel like a collection is coming because what is she even talking about? Her last collaboration that had came out with Morphe was in February. So what is she talking about? And to my understanding, a lot of people praise that palette. That palette was really good. There was no complaints about it. It had positive reviews. Um, it had positive YouTube reviews as well, too. So I'm just kind of like, what is she talking about? Like, sometimes I just, I think that people start, you know, stirring the pot just to get their name talked about because now everyone on Twitter and Instagram is talking about her. And in return, that's what made me think that, hmm, maybe she was coming out with a product, y'all. But I don't know. This is kind of like a trip to me because I feel like, what is she complaining for? Like, I don't know. I was sitting here trying to find like a reason, like, what is she even talking about? Because girl, you have the support of so many other people, but yeah, you don't really support people. And let me tell you why, in my personal opinion, I think that these beauty influencers don't like supporting other people because they know how much they can get paid for a sponsorship. Say, for example, she could very easily shout out Raw Beauty Christie and her peer collaboration, right? But a Instagram story or Instagram post from Jaclyn Hill probably costs, you know, 50 to 75 grand. So she probably thinks about it that way of like, oh, well, you know what? If peer wanted my support, they would reach out to me for a sponsored post. When it's like, girl, no, help out your peers. Help out somebody like Raw Beauty Christie who has done a positive review of yours that has, you know, over a million views that helps sell your product in December. So... That's just my two cents of it. I think a lot of people get a little bit money hungry and they don't want to shout people out. And I think that that's really, really messed up. I think that we should all support one another, help each other out because in return, they're going to help you out when you need it. So I don't really know what she's complaining for. Y'all can let me know your thoughts and opinions on the situation. I'll catch you all in my next video. Peace out, Girl Scout.